why has Jordan got so much oil He's got on? loads of oil. He needs to stay away from that fire. He's going to go up in flames. That will go down as one of the most iconic moments in Love Island history. This really upset me, watching Callum and Amber. I just, I know Callum and I know his friends and I've actually spoken to his friends and they're finding it really hard to watch. Yeah. I've watched this already, it was awful. That was quite nasty. <laughs> this whole Amber thing is a complete front. Like, I used to be like, ooh, what are you wearing? Ooh, look at that hat, because I wanted to act all tough. <laughs> You've got to be open in the villa. Yeah. Emotionally open, ready to be crushed, yet enlightened. Yeah, was powerful that was. Can you imagine though? Imagine walking down to that. He's completely my type. Look, Ma he's got Michael. tats, he's got his, his piercing, he looks naughty. Wait till Michael comes out, she's gonna pounce on no, him. No, I ain't. I don't pounce, I wait. No, you don't. Oh, I tell you what, I do love Amber, the way she just comes out with her. Why the f did you do that? As time went on, she got a bit you got a bit catty and I was like, oh, I don't really, I don't really know about you. As the days have gone on, she's started to like be less icy and kind of be a bit more nicey. She's got morals in it, do you know what I mean? And like, and like, and she'll stick up for her friends. So I think that's a really, that was a really nice thing to see. Big up, Amber. Good old Sharif, eh? Ooh, well, let me just pause this. I had really high hopes for Sharif and I had to do a thing because the the initial rejection and then and then she started working out. He's, he's he's actually a really nice guy, like. Then all of a sudden he was out of the villa and I was like, what the hell is he done for two new girls to come into the show and be getting like, have been like heckled in a, in a, in, in a way. I think, I think it's a bit out of order, isn't it? It's, it's your first day on the show. You want to kind of feel a bit welcome rather than feel like you're like walking into like the lion's den. I don't like that at all. I think there's no need for that. Like, don't get me wrong, it's really frustrating. Someone might be taking a man, but don't make them feel like and be I think Tommy's like a kid in a sweet shop, do you know what I mean? He just thinks everyone's good looking. I semi feel like Tommy has the same chat for every single girl. It's the getting married talk from the goal. Yeah, like I don't I don't play any games, like I just I just like I know what I want. He like he knows how to get into the girls' hearts, isn't it? Like like we all know his game, innit? Like we all we all know the bars that he's gonna drop. Every single girl that's gone into the show, they all fancy Tommy. It's crazy. Like Tommy's like oh, Tommy, Tommy's like the hunk of the show this year, innit? Like, all the girls are like, oh you know, I wouldn't do anything on TV. I'm only gonna kiss him and then wait till two weeks in and you'll see. There's a load of tents. It looks like Glastonbury in that bedroom, it's wild. You know, I don't even need to watch this clip because I know what happened, right? Okay, so Tom, he screwed up real bad. He was trying to give it the big in front of the boys, thinking he was a lad, you know, thinking that Maura was nowhere to be seen and he'll just, you know, say, oh, is she all talk and all of this. Maura's always everywhere to be seen and nothing gets past her. She was so ready to take him. She was so nice about it. And then he kind of mugged her off. Uh, but that will go down as one of the most iconic moments in Love Island history. Michael, Michael, Michael! I do understand why he fancies her because when we look at Joanna, I mean, she's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I just don't look he at was it. putting Amber down to her. I think that's really sly. I don't, yeah. I'm not, I don't approve of that. That's just disgusting. If you're going to move on, do it like with grace and dignity. Don't be putting the other person down. He's just thinking with his Willy Wonka. Yeah. <laughs> but I know him from back home and he's a bit of a player. <laughs> okay, you're going to hell, bro. <laughs> But I feel so sorry for Amy. She's not done anything wrong. Like, I think it's lust more than anything. I think she does love him. You can tell by the way she looks at him. Okay, it's getting all excited. She's getting, woo! It's, the girls are so confident. Could you have done this? Yeah, I think you could. You've been fine. Uh, need a wine. <laughs> a little wine. Or five. Oh, did you not see this? No, I haven't seen this. She oh, she's him. still kissing him. That is my favourite challenge ever. Oh. Why has Jordan got so much oil? He's got on? loads of oil. He needs to stay away from that fire. He's gonna go up in flames. <laughs> he looks like King Julian from Madagascar. <laughs> Would you go in to the highway? Yeah, only because I was ill. I didn't go in there if there anything exciting. No, and then that's when Michael oh. says he likes her. Oh, okay. Michael's obviously seen that she's interested. Seeing that she's interested in someone else, and it's like, oh, it's what you can't have. That um, Greg speaks really nicely of her. He says how pretty she is. How like yeah, she's treats really like he's nice. a gentleman. Like that's how and guys Michael should be like her. looking at him like shut up. Yeah, you can tell he's definitely a mm. little bit of a green eye monster. I can imagine a green eye monster. It's like when you get jealous, no? I've never heard. That. That's the saying, right? Yeah, it okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah hun, it's the saying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like Chris. Oh. I thought it was a bit annoying at first, but I really like him. He's just so like... He's getting Ovid. I know. Oh, the new girl. What's her name? India. India. Oh, yeah, everyone... 
<laughs> Everyone's been saying that apparently I look like her, but I don't think I do I, at all. There is a resemblance. Ovi is like, Ovi is funny. He has I got person. Ovi, not Ovi. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, have I been saying Ovi the <laughs> no, whole time? I'm no. actually dead if I have. No, you haven't. Okay. Yeah, he seems lovely. I think he deserves to find a good girl. I want him to win. How he's respectable to women, I just think, oh, just takes my heart. Yeah. It's lovely. Guys need to take a leaf out of his book yes. and be respectful. Yes, please do. <laughs> Laura's like a legend. <laughs> They're both like comedy gold. I remember when Maura was like, he's got such a nice smile, and, da -da -da, and then they did that slow pan on the body, and I was like, what is going on? Like, everyone was on Twitter was just like, eh? <laughs> eh? Wow. Well, 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 Jordan. I have no idea where Jordan picked that thought. Jordan, why are you trying to go for Ovi's girl? <laughs> Ovi is like 19 foot. He's a basketball player and he's like the coolest guy and you've got no chill. <laughs> when did that happen? Literally the friend zone bit. And she's just like, I see you as a mate. And he, t he says it straight away for me. It's just the way he took the said, he goes, mate. To give your opinion on this year's Love Islanders, please comment below. <laughs>